Thanks, Malachi. Well, it's time for Culinary Corner with Chef Austin from Greenville Tech. Yep, he stopped by to give us some tips on how to make your own pizza dough. We are back with Culinary Corner this week. We continue to feature dishes that the kids will be able to make this summer during a virtual kids culinary camp at Greenville Tech. Make sure you just check out Greenville Tech's website to figure out how to register your children for that. Coming up in July. All right, Chef Patrick, thanks yep. so much for coming back. Absolutely. All right, tonight we are going to feature pizza. Dough, pizza yeah. Dough. You know, and so in the same ratio we did in the bread series, the recipe yeah. that we're providing is pound of flour uh, and then the water hydration is 15 ounces. And then we're using instant yeast, a little bit of fat, a little bit of salt. Okay. You know, and so the dough. Oh, wait, uh, I almost forgot. Uh, yeah, it is, yeah uh, come pizza on. Um, I need a Chef Patrick. Can I do it right? I think you got a little. I have it wrong. I think, yeah. <laughs> this way. There we go. There we go. All right. So. I'm authentic pizza now. Pizza dough is very forgiving. It's something that you can make ahead of time uh, by a day. You can make it in batches, freeze it, and it'll thaw out very quickly sure. if you want it for dinner that night. And then it's very elastic. You know, the hydration is almost like focaccia, you know, or some of the looser doughs. And then at home, uh, you could use a fork, mm -hmm. but this is uh, our dough docker. You have well, the best tools. Well, one of the things that people uh, make a mistake with uh, in pizza is they don't punch holes in the dough, so you end up with a big air pocket that forms and I always say, you get the cheese avalanche. You get all the cheese fall off like an avalanche because yeah. it's big bubble. So you, you said it was a, uh, a dough docker? Do, dough docker. Docker. Yeah. Docker. We're the dough doctor. That's, <laughs> this is the dough docker. That's right. You know, so I'm using not... the dough docker uh, is going to help you. Uh, you can use it. Oh, yeah. What it's going to help you okay. do is kind of pierce it now, so now that. Now we're getting authentic. That's yeah. where you put the holes in it. Absolutely. And then we just want to stretch the dough out. You know, and you see a lot of people spin it, toss it. You know, uh, what we want to do is stretch it out. The second mistake <laughs> people make with the dough is... I didn't even have to look over there to know y'all were laughing. They start to work it and it shrinks. And they want to get it thinner than maybe what it is. Like you look at yours because you handled it, the gluten's activated and it wants to shrink a little bit. Yeah. If we covered it and let it sit for 10 minutes, you'd be able to get it thinner. Okay. You know, so thin crust... See there? Yeah, thin uh, crust could just be that we have a thinner dough to make a thinner crust. Okay. How and we pan it... We'll give us some different pizzas. And you call the, the cooking sheet one grandma style. Yeah, you see like grandma style or Sicilian, it's usually thicker crust. Uh, in this case, we use like a little bit of olive oil in there, so that gives you a little bit of a crisp crust, you know, and kind of helps hold some of the moisture. You know, you can also use, uh, you know, some kind of meal, like cornmeal underneath it, so that's often what we'll use if we go right on a stone. That'll help us give us a crunchier crust, mm -hmm. you know, and then you have pan pizza. And so pan pizza is just panned in a pan, like the cake pan here. Like Chicago deep, deep pan type? A little bit different dough formulation, kind of. but you could certainly do it like that. Chicago would be more sauce on the top. Okay. You know, so you could certainly build it like that, yeah. you know, um, and you know, you could even have cheese out to the edge so it starts to caramelize on the edge. That's something that in a Detroit style pizza or Chicago pizza, caramelized cheese is what we're looking for. Oh, that's so good. You know, so good. Um, but those are, that's really the basic rundown. We could use the same dough uh, to make a calzone or stromboli, mm -hmm. you know, just by making a pocket out of it. You know, so that one batch of dough, you can make it ahead of time, you can freeze it into individual portions. I would say about an ounce, an ounce and a half of dough per inch. So 15 ounce dough puck, you know, uh, for you know anything like 10 inch, you know, pan pizza here, you know, or we could probably even get it thinner and maybe 15, 16 inches for a thinner crust, yeah. And then this one here, uh, you know, the half sheet pan cookie sheet, about 20 ounces, what we use for that. Oh. And then letting it sit in the pan longer will also give you a thicker crust. If you want like a okay. thicker puffier dough, you're letting it ferment in there longer. Uh, for the final product. Okay. Um, any kind of sauce you want, so it could be a pizza sauce and you can jazz it up with additional garlic or seasonings. White but it pizza, could, Alfredo. Yeah, Alfredo sauce. Yeah, Thousand Island dressing for maybe like a Reuben pizza or oh, a cheeseburger nice. pizza. You know, um, you know, anything. You know, it could be a ranch dressing if you want it to be. Any kind of cheese you want, as long as it's going to be a melty cheese. You could even finish it with the cheese when it comes out of the oven. The pizza stones, you've seen the, I've mm -hmm. seen those in the store. Are those worth it? What kind of crust do you get with that? So what a pizza stone does is it helps pull the moisture away from the dough and it helps give you a thin, crispy crust. Okay. You know, so we often see pizza ovens or we'll say deck ovens have a hearth insert for it and cooking right on the stone gets a great transfer of heat. You know, and you may be able to replicate that by preheating like a, the backside of a sheet pan and trying to slide your pizza on that. We'll put a parchment paper underneath it so it doesn't stick on the peel and you can take it right off the parchment paper onto a stone and then you don't have to worry about it kind of like sliding and jamming up. 
Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of little tricks you could do. At the end of the day, it's going to be pizza. Well, Chef Patrick, I won't make you show me how to do the <laughs> toppings because that will not go well. But we appreciate it. Again, sure. the Thank summer you. camp for the kids starts in July. You can register on Greenville Tech's website. Check it out. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amy, I had a hat for you, too. Oh. But Amanda threw it away. Our well, Amanda director. threw it away. <laughs> She didn't. That was the screaming in the background. Uh, well, next time, maybe we'll get a yeah. hat on, but you have more on the way next time, next week. Yep, next week we will tackle homemade dumplings. Cool. That would yeah. be fun.